right, welcome back to another part of Sakura Succubus. You guys requested this, so <laughs> I'm doing it again. So <laughs> if you do intend to enjoy, feel free to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And uh, hit that notification bell if you want to join the Iron Hide today. Uh, let's just get into this. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ugh. What a day. I'm sitting in a smoky bar. <clears throat> nursing some cocktail or another. I'm not sure what it's called. And neither do I really care. I was so out of it when I arrived at this bar and more than a little intimidated by the vast selection of drinks available, I asked the bartender to make up whatever cocktail they wanted. The cocktail is a comforting amber color, and it tastes faintly fruity. It's not bad though. In my current state of misery, I wouldn't say no to something even harder. Then again, getting too drunk might be a poor idea. My head's still killing me. Although alcohol can sometimes take the edge off worldly pains, at other times, it can only serve to ex exalibrate them. Given I've been so unlucky today, I'd rather not take my chances. I sip my drink, only half tasting it. Jazz music fills the air, mingled with that of casual conversation. The bar is a fairly popular one, and several men and women, through mostly men, are sitting about drinking. Some of the men are in business suits, while the women wear sparkly evening dresses, their faces carefully made up, and their feet wedged in perilously high <laughs> heel shoes. I don't know how to say these things, okay? <laughs> I wonder if these men just finished work. It's a weekend, but that doesn't necessarily mean R&R &R for Japan's baker or businessman. Some companies operate during Saturday and Sundays, the workers obliged to work long in to the night. I pity all those guys with their slick back hairs and their slightly rumpled suits. At least I would if I hadn't had such an awful day myself. Not only did I fail to take any photos of AU, but I was also slapped across the face by a self-same woman. Then, to cap things off, I broke the very expensive camera equipment my boss commanded me to take care of. I am so not looking forward to going into work on Monday. My boss is gonna eviscerate me. At least the businessmen around me uh, weary though they look, seem to be having fun. <clears throat> they probably earned a lot more than I do, and I doubt their bosses are as draconian as my own. My boss is a jumped up man with a inflated sense of self-importance. <clears throat> who loves to breathe down the necks of his employees. He chooses out from the smallest of errors and seems to take the genuine sadistic delight in making the newest hires cry. He's never made me cry. I, would want, I wouldn't want to give him the satisfaction, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little afraid of him. I've genuinely kept in good graces for the three years I've been working under him, but that's gonna come to an end on Monday. I like to think he won't fire me as much as I dislike my job. 
I kinda needed to pay my bills, but that might be a touch too optimistic. <clears throat> Even if he doesn't fire me, which is a di distinct possibility, um, the cost of the smashed cameras are gonna come directly out of my earnings. Either way, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this guy's gonna be struggling throughout the entire time, and I know he is. I guess I'll be eating instant noodles for the rest of the month. This will be the last time I'll be able to go to the bar, too. I moped over my drink, my fingers buried into my hair. I suddenly bear. Ugh, I suddenly very aware of how expensive this cocktail was and I wanted to make it the last for as long as possible. Whenever I get fired or not, finances are gonna be tight. I can't afford to spend too much. How I envy the businessmen around me forking out bills for fancy drinks and snacks. Pretty women, maybe girlfriends, but they could be escorts, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Hanging on their arms, laughing at all their bad jokes. <clears throat> their lips shimmering with gloss. When was the last time a pretty lady dripped herself over me like that, huh? Well, strictly speaking, it was about half an hour ago. <laughs> And you was making herself pretty comfortable on my lap until she slapped me. Well, I mean, yeah, especially if you're trying, well, especially if you stayed there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that, that will definitely happen. There's another thing, oh no, sorry. That's another thing <laughs> to feel rotten about. That I use so statistic. She really got my hopes up. I take another sip of my cocktail, hoping it might lighten my dreary thoughts, but it actually makes me feel e even worse. Well, I put even worse. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should hurry up and get out of here. I'm too broke to get drunk, and the train trains will stop running soon. I knock back the rest of the cocktail, and then get to my feet. I'm ready to make a beeline to the exit when... Oh my, are you leaving already? That is a shame. It's not even midnight yet. Uh, excuse me? A sultry voice calls me back. I turn, blinking, then gasp. Who... Oh. My. God. <laughs> that is a classy businesswoman right there. Sitting by the counter is an incredibly attractive woman. She is she has dark tanned skin which contrasts with her, her almost bone white hair. Oh, see, those eyes, they begin to me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill with this one. She's dressed in business attire and her pen stripped suit and white shirt gape open to reveal an April blossom. One of her legs is crossed over the other and one hand, she holds a glass. Her eyes are green, a little like cats, and they're lidded. A playful smile puckers her lips and her face is flustered, probably from the alcohol. Something about her looks familiar, but I can't quite place her face. To be quite frank, her large bosom is attracting most of my attention, as are her thighs. 
Trust me, my guy, I am looking way away from the bottom. <laughs> Those eyes are speaking to me more than her breasts. I'm telling you. <laughs> Um, you could crush a watermelon between those sides like that. Damn! Was she really calling out to me? But why? I don't think I'm particularly unattractive, but my flyaway hair and my baggy jeans aren't in the pinnacle fashion or good taste. Yeah, yeah, I, I could probably see that being a thing. It should be obvious at glance that I don't pull and have the salary of some of the big shot businessmen around here do. I must have been mistaken. It can't have been me she's calling out to. There's no way. I turn to walk away once more, but hey, I'm talking to you, you know. It's rude to leave a lady in the lurch. Didn't your mother to tea? teach you any manners? The woman's laugh is throaty and it does any number of curious things to my body. I can feel my hair standing at the end and my mouth feeling dry despite the alcohol I consumed. I guess she really was talking to me. Um, I beg your pardon. I glance back at the femme fatale doing my level best not to guap at her chest. I'm not a teenager anymore, damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that would be funny, that would be funny. Do I know you? You look familiar. Though I don't think we've met before. Oh, I look familiar, do I? I suppose that's hardly a surprise. My name's Marina, Wakazuki Marina. Does it ring any bells? Um. Now that she said it, her name does sound very familiar. The newspaper I work on, I work at, Sakura Daily, ran an article about her a few weeks ago. Oh. Wakatsuki Marina is a famous entrepreneur and businesswoman, half Japanese, half South African, I think. Well, damn. Um, Marina is ahead of the world famous brand of designer clothes, perfume, cosmetics, and more. Hmm. That's good to know. She's one of the wealthiest women in Tokyo, though she's no idol. I think she might be more famous than AU. <laughs> I ran into two celebs today, all in under an hour. What are the odds of that? Um, while AU was content to slap me and call me a pervert, Marina actually seems interested in instigating a conversation. This is amazing. I am a photographer at, for a local paper. If so, I met a few B list celebrities in my time, and never before have I met a woman that excludes class and glamour like Wakazuki Marina. Interesting. Be still, my beating heart. My, my, you certainly look surprised. You'll attract flies if you let your mouth hang open like that, dear. It's not a very attractive look. Oh, um, I'm sorry. It's all right, you don't need to apologize. I'm not offended. People often go, go <laughs> gawp. <laughs> I don't know how they say that. Uh, when they see me, um, I'm quite used to it. I am a celebrity, you know? Yes, um, I, I'm aware. I can't believe I didn't recognize you sooner. I bow again which makes Marina giggle anew. Like I said, you don't need to apologize. I get enough of that at work. It's always, yes ma'am, right away. And we're, ter we're so terribly sorry. 
My workers all respect me, but they're so distant. It's almost like they're afraid of me. I know I'm very wealthy, beautiful, charismatic, and so on, but at the end of the day, I'm still a normal woman. I get tired of people groveling before me. Sometimes, I just want to have a normal conversation. <sighs> Don't we all? Oh, right, I, I see. I'm so. An apology is fully formed on my tongue, but I cut myself off before I could say anything foolish. This might be why Marina called me over. Despite the vast gulf of difference between our wealth and social standings, she's tired of being treated like a celeb and no doubt owing to a capricious whim of the wealthy, she wants to speak to a member of the peanut gallery like me. This is all a bit sudden, my heart's throbbing incredibly hard, but well, if Marina wants to speak to, to a nobody like me, who am I to refuse her? Now, why don't you sit your cute bottom back down on the counter, sweetie? Don't you want to buy another drink? I wouldn't mind, but I don't have much money. That's all right. I'd be happy to foot the bill. That's, that's very kind of you, but are you sure? I wouldn't want to put you out. Nonsense. Marina waves one manicured hand carelessly. I am a wealthy businesswoman. A drink or two is hardly going to break the bank. <laughs> I guess you're right about that. I flush embarrassed that a mere photographer even thought to question the depth of Marina's pockets. Maybe you should have kept your mouth shut earlier, you son of a bitch. She's infinitely richer than I could ever aspire to be. I know commonly, ugh, I know common courtesy, this is why I don't speak fast. I know common courtesy dictates that men should foot the bill during dates, but screw it. <laughs> this isn't really a date and Marina's the one who's offering me to buy offer to buy me a drink in the first place. I think it's fine to flaunt conventions every once in a while. If you don't mind, then sure. I'd be happy if you bought me a drink. That's the spirit. I like a man who can hold his liquor. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Bartender, can you get a couple of lemon highballs over here? I'm sorry, did you just say lemon highballs? I sit down next to Marina while she piles me with alcohol. We drink together for a while, ex ideally exchange banter. All the while, I try not to stare at Marina's chest. I can hardly believe that this is happening. What's become of my life? About an hour, half an hour and three more lemon highballs later, Marina shoots me a curious glance and says, So rookie. Um, why do you look so down? Did something happen? I guess you could say that, yeah. But was it really that obvious? Quite. Uh, that's why I called out to you. Uh, you could. I couldn't stand seeing such a handsome young man look so well defeated. I know we're relative st strangers, but as the old s saying goes. A problem shared is a problem halved. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you mind telling me what's on your mind? I don't know if you want to hear it. It's nothing interesting. It's work stuff, I guess. As a businesswoman, I am very well acquainted with troublesome work stuff. I have plenty of problems of my own to deal with. I figured as much. That's why I don't want to burden you with mine. But, Marina leans a little closer to me. I could feel a slight softness in her silvery hair against my fl 
crushed skin. I think it would be nice to listen to somebody else's woes. Might take my mind off my own concerns, and who knows? Listen to your problems might help me think of a way to resolve these pesky problems of mine. Would you mind telling me what's wrong, dear? I'd love to get to know you better. You're so cute, after all. Holy shit! <laughs> I am so blown away by her beauty. Shit! Okay. Marina draws her pink cat-like tongue along her lower lip. Why? You're good enough to eat. Who is it getting hot in here? Is it getting hot in here? I had the AC on and it's getting hot in here still. Look. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm all that good. Oh shit. I see what's going on. And I, okay, so a lot of you don't know this, but basically, um, but basically, she's drunk and doesn't realize that the man that she's talking to is not even handsome at all. She's definitely had way too many drinks. She's definitely had way too many drinks, yo. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I, I don't think I'm all that good looking but if you want to listen to my belly aching i suppose i can oblige you did buy me a few drinks after all now comfortably lightheaded i offered marina a small smile then launched into my tail i am a photographer for the sakura daily do you know it ah yes i interviewed I was interviewed by an employee of the newspaper only a few weeks prior. So I wasn't misremembering. Well, we really have a run, have run a piece of, on Marina before. It's nice knowing I'm not going senile, I guess. Well, my boss sent me out to the concert by a, by AU tonight. She's a popular idol. Yes, I know about her. I know her very well, matter of fact. Really? You'd be surprised how close we are. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see that. I look at Marina intrigued. She doesn't look like the sort of person who would be familiar with a m musical styling like a Q.I.U. Um... Marina looks like she's into more classical music or jazz, not high-energy J-pop numbers. I guess I can't judge a book by its cover. Well, I was meant to take some pictures of AU while performing, but there were a few problems. The train was delayed. I arrived at the concert late and had already started when I got there, and I couldn't get to the front of the crowd. I was stunned all the way to, I was shutted all the way to the back behind the whole sea of people. There was no space, there were way too many bodies in the way, and I couldn't set up the cameras. I had no chance of taking photos. Oh no, that sounds like the, quite the disaster. It was! My boss is gonna kill me when he finds out, but that's not the end of it. I gave Marina a quick, abridged version of the night's events. I told her about my gloomy nighttime wandering through the city, then my chance encounter with AU. I don't go into single gory detail. I don't, for instance, tell Marina how I exit, how excited I got when AU fell on me, but I do tell Marina that. She did slap me for my effort, then call me a pervert. I didn't want to do anything inappropriate to her. I just, I was just trying to do my job. And I lamented helplessly. My words fall into a tremble from my throat. 
When lubricated with alcohol, it's surprisingly easy to gush about the most embarrassing of things. She's let me really hard, too. Oh, the whole side of my head is still smarting. Ah, yes. I can see that red mark on your face. Now that you mention it, she must have had done a number on you. She really did for an idol. She has a surprising amount of upper body strength. I didn't know she was so powerful. She certainly doesn't look like it. She has so tiny, so much pink. Idols are made of tougher stuff than you might think. They pour a lot of time and effort into perfecting their dancing routines and they work long hours. I'm not surprised that AU is so strong. Though I wish she learned to use that head of hers. She's so dauntless. I really am sorry she's caused you so much distress, Haruki. It's fine. What's done is done. I'm trying not to think about it too much. And then the alcohol certainly helped me. My surroundings look hazy and unreal. And then my mind is pleasantly numb. One of the two things about Marine words S do seem quite odd though sounds like you know AU quite well not just as an idol but as a person I suppose you could say that AU and I are close like I said we're not family but it might as well be she's like a naughty little sister to me I suppose wow really I didn't know that a few people do my relationship with AU isn't wildly public Publicized, excuse me. <clears throat> it is good at putting on a cute act before the camera, but she has a short temper and she can be quite nasty at times. Like we didn't see the other from the last episode, yeah. Um, do you want me to have a word with her? Um, I'm really quite upset that she would treat you so badly. Oh, oh, no, no, it's fine. Like I said, it's too late to worry about that now. Maybe so, but I do sympathize with her you must have had a rough night well that's part of being a dote uh, a dote that's part of being an adult I'm used to it the alcohol has helped so has talking to you thank you for listening for my worries Marina it's no problem at all I'm glad I was able to aid you in such a small manner though I wish I could do more it's partially my fault that you were so rude to you if I disciplined her better, she would have never to slap you. Keeping a you in line is my job. Lady Yu asked me to keep an eye on her, and I failed. I feel most humbled. Lady Yu? I wonder who that was. Based on the title Marina gave her, she sounds like a royalty. Is she a foreign princess, or what connection does she has with Marina and AU? I am a little lost, but before I could ponder this, I feel a soft sensation against my thighs. Marina is gripping my upper leg in one hand. Her masculine nails is digging through the fabric of my pants. Holy shit. <laughs> Hi, Roki. Marina leans in. Her voice falls into a soft sultry whisper when envelopes my body like a caress. I could not overstate how sorry I am that AU caused you so many problems. She's a naughty girl and I will scold her later. But for now, I would like to apologize on her behalf. Would you mind coming back to my office with me? Okay, this is where I'm going to end it here. <laughs> this is where I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you guys later.